how do you replace someone who can't be replaced? You can't. It seems like a simple idea, right? Sell your best player for 100 million pounds and buy two players for 50 million pounds each or three for 33 million pounds each. It's easy. You see it on Twitter all the time. For one Maguire, you could get two Davinson Sanchez or a Sanchez and two Hung Min Sons. As a fan, it's easy to get excited when your team brings in a host of expensive signings, but it often doesn't work out as planned. These are the five worst replacements in football. Let's start with Wout Weghorst. Ten Hag made a huge blunder when he decided to replace Cristiano Ronaldo with Wout Weghorst. He let go of the greatest goal scorer of all time for a striker with fewer league goals than his defender Lissandro Martinez. Weghorst was a complete disaster for United, fouling more often than he shot, and scoring just two goals in over 20 games in all competitions. Ronaldo, on the other hand, was still banging in goals at an incredible rate, even though he was mostly coming on as a substitute. He scored more than two goals in less than 10 games, proving he was still one of the best strikers in the world. Weghorst isn't the only flop 10 Hag brought in. Anana's transfer was another blunder. Not all goalkeepers who play in finals are good. Ten Hag wanted Anana's ball playing skills, so he sold one of the best shot stoppers in the world. United went from a goalie who kept the most clean sheets in the Premier League last season to a goalie who has conceded 18 goals in his first 10 games. When he's not letting in goals, he's making awful blunders, from the foul against Wolves to the bad pass that led to the penalty, and Casemiro's red card, Onana has turned out to be a dreadful replacement for D-Gear. What a terrible replacement. And that's not the only time Ronaldo was replaced. Eden Hazard was signed to take his place. We all knew that's what the move was supposed to be. Madrid already had Vinicius Jr. in their ranks, but they didn't believe in him yet, so they threw 100 million pounds at Hazard, gave him Ronaldo's number seven jersey, and made him the highest paid player at the club. They expected him to have the same impact Ronaldo had during his years in Spain, but he was way off the mark. Not only was Hazard a bad replacement for Ronaldo, he turned out to be one of the worst signings in recent Spanish football history. But what about Alvaro Morata for Diego Costa? Diego Costa was a wrecking ball on his good days. A master of annoying opponents, Costa scored 52 goals in 89 appearances for Chelsea. He was a powerful force leading the attack at Stamford Bridge. He was amazing for them, until Antonio Conte dropped him for no clear reason. Racing him with Morata seemed like a great idea at the time. The Spaniard cost Chelsea around 60 million pounds and scored eight goals in his first 11 appearances. But looking back, it wasn't a good idea. Morata flopped so badly that he ended up joining Atletico Madrid after being loaned there for a season. Oh, and here's another blunder. Bayern Munich trying to replace Robert Lewandowski with Sadio Mane. Come on, that was never going to work, was it? Main is a great player, but he's not a center forward. So it was no surprise that he struggled to fill Lewandowski shoes. Bayern went from 57 goal contributions in 46 games, with Lewandowski to 18 and 38 with Main A. They almost lost the Bundesliga that season, if not for Dortmund's bottling on the last day. After seeing Main's performance, Bayern Munich didn't need anyone to tell them to send him to Saudi Arabia and get a proper center forward like Harry Kane. Anyway, we want to hear from you. What do you think is the worst replacement in football history? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content. See you next time.